It is the Supremi SUP case, if that's what you want to call it. It's an action cam case, guys. You'll see it online. I'm here to review it, give it a quick overview. Ryan Erlacher here with LawAbidingBiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. I do a ton of documentary stuff, guys. When I'm riding around, you've seen my YouTube videos on my motorcycle, and I've got a pack small. I've got different film and travel kits and things like that. Again, you will find this particular case online. You might be wondering about it. Um, I will have links in the description below, affiliate links, that's right. If you click through and make a purchase, we do get a small kickback, no additional cost to you. Helps us out if you appreciate this review video and informational video. So I already have some gear in this bad boy. Uh, and like I say, we'll go over it. Um, it's very, very sturdy. I was surprised about that when I first got it. I've only been using it about a week now. Um, you can see on the on the top, I can push in just a little bit. There's just a little give on the top, but I'll tell you the sides are super stout. You'll see in a minute, that's because there's trays in there. And so it's gonna give a lot of protection this way, a lot of protection this way. I mean, you really, you can't push it in that way. Only the top just gives a little bit. It's made very, very sturdy. It's kind of this nylon outer, um, so to speak. It probably offers, offers a lot of uh, waterproofing, not water, uh, water resistant, I should say, if it, you're in the rain or kind of wet weather, moist, it probably seals up pretty good. I wouldn't submerge it for sure. If we spin it around this way, uh, it's got very nice zippers, rubber grabbers there, and I'll unzip it, it zips all the way around, basically to right there, and the rest is a hinge system. All right, opens up like so. I really like this, it's a big mesh, mesh pocket. Like I said, I can fit a lot more gear in this. I only have some gear, just to give you an idea of its size. Unzip that, very sturdy again. It doesn't feel like this thing's gonna break at all. I've got tons of batteries up here, GoPro batteries, you could, any action cam you want. Um, charger for my remote. You could have extra wires and stuff up there. One thing I wanna note before we do any more inside, this handle is super sturdy. It's stitched, very double stitched all the way around, maybe even triple stitched. I'm not sure, double stitched it looks like. Um, but you can carry a lot of weight in this and this handle's never gonna pull off here, I can guarantee you that. Uh, let's go back inside. Now, when this comes, it actually comes with specific cutouts for GoPro. There's foam in it, you gotta pop all the panels, it's pre-cut. I didn't like that so much, um, no biggie. Uh, it had a lot of little compartments up here for different stuff and it just didn't work for me, so I just took a knife and cut it out to a big square. So there's two nice squares there, a square there, and then the big compartment square over here. You could just remove the foam all the way and then you would have a big open area, but I like the fact that it's at least compartmentalized a little bit for organization purposes. That works for me. You can see up here, fit two GoPros, no problem with mounts on them. They're ready to go for my helmets and my motorcycle, the different mounting positions. Um, no problem there. And then I've got handle over here, cloths, my remote, another iPhone holder, um, just miscellaneous gear you could do there. Some microphones and different things, wire stuff right there. Um, so the nice thing about this is it's got storage underneath. And so that's the tray right there, gives you an idea. All right, set that off to the side and then you've got another nice deep compartment underneath. I've only put a few things in here just for visual purposes, but that's a Gorilla, smaller Gorilla Pod with iPhone holder. It's got two really nice mesh pockets with Velcro on both sides. So you've got over here and over here, nice big pockets. I've got some memory cards in that side right now. And then um, it's also got a strap in here. Um, you could undo it, unbuckle it, and then strap it back up. Certainly if you wanted to jam stuff under here, you didn't want it moving around. That's what that's for. And then the nice thing is this tray even pops right out uh, for organization purposes, or you could just get rid of it and then you have a nice big, you wouldn't have to do the top tray or bottom tray for that matter, and you'd have a nice big case. Very nice hardware. I will say I was very impressed. They aren't putting this together with plastic stuff. These are, these are, uh, metal screws that are secure in the strap inside, secure in those down there, and uh, secure in your side pockets, your mesh pockets. We can drop that back in. One thing when you load this, you wouldn't want to load it over the top of this. You could, that's kind of your level that you can load it to, so to speak. That's because otherwise there would be stuff bulging up and it would affect how this tray seated nice and flat in there. Um, so let, let me give you an idea here. Let's uh, close this up and we'll see how secure it is. Do the little test because I bang my gear around a lot. We can shake it around. And there is a little room between the lid and those items, but it'll give you an idea whether your stuff is gonna hold solid. Voila, good to go. Everything pretty much stayed in its compartments and things like that. So 
Um, that's good because it's going to offer a lot of protection and most of all keep it organized. So this thing was pretty big when it came. I will tell you that. Bigger than I expected, but that's okay because I do have uses for it. It will fit nicely. I have to pack small with all my film gear um, when I'm riding on my motorcycle. So this would still fit in my saddlebag and I carry a luggage bag, tea bag on the back um, and uh, it'll fit in there too. So depending on, of course, I'm going to put a lot more gear in here. There's only one way to size reference this. I got an idea. There we go, DSLR bag, because um, you're all probably familiar with the DSLR bag. So regular Canon, this is your regular you know, bag. And so that'll give you a size comparison. I can fit my DSLR in there, a couple lenses, things like that. Um, so this is pretty big, as you can see with a DSLR bag. Um, it's basically, let me turn it this way, it's the same width. So the DSLR bag you see sits just a little bit higher, um, but not much. So this thing's pretty tall. If we pop it up this way, and sit it on its side, it's pretty much just maybe a little bit taller than the DSLR bag sitting down there. So that gives an idea. Um, and then width wise, you're basically the same width. Set that over there on this, you're the same width here, but again, just a little bit taller. So hopefully that gives you a good idea on that this is a pretty big case, but you're gonna be able to fit a lot of gear and get that protection and some water resistant stuff like that. All right, guys, do not forget, subscribe to this channel. That's right. Ton of videos in the works for you guys. Give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. Don't forget out, check out the weekly podcast, guys, the Law Abiding Barker Podcast. That is, I did a review on this case. That's the GoPol um, action cam or storage case. I'm gonna pop a link right about there for you guys. So uh, check that out. And uh, I did a review on this case. It's a little bit smaller. You can see, you might see these online too. Quite a bit smaller, but still a uh, pretty good case for if you need to travel just a little bit lighter, you have a little bit less gear than me. So check that one out. All right, guys, peace out.